Okay, I'm going to tie a, uh, a buzzer for you today. It's my favourite buzzer for fishing in uh, clear water. Um, I tie it in a, a size 10 all the way down to a size 16 or 8, 18, the, uh, the bigger sizes for the, the larger waters and uh, the small sizes when you're fishing uh, clear small still waters and this buzz buzzer hatch is coming off. Uh, it's a great fly. Okay, so what you need to tie it is, uh, that's a size 10 Hanak 230 barbless hook, some black thread, some stripped peacock quills. Now these are the ones that uh, are from further down the stem on the feather, so they're not the peacock eye. You need some white polypropylene or antron, whatever you've got to hand, and some sunburst color flexi floss. Okay, so just attach the uh, thread and take it all the way down to the bend of the hook. Grab a bit of the uh, strip peacock quill and just wet it. Just helps to prevent it from snapping. And tie that in. What I like to do on this fly is get a gradual taper from the tail all the way up to the head and then keep the thorax area quite short but quite bulbous, quite round. So if you look at a natural buzzer, that's kind of the, the typical profile it is. A gradual increase in size in the body and then quite a short head. Um, I see loads of buzzers tied where, where the head kind of starts halfway down the hook shank almost with a really big head. But the real fly, the real actually insect has um, quite a... Quite a long body with a, a short head. So I want to build up a gradual profile, gradual taper using the black thread. Once more down and back up should do it. So just put a less thread to turn on this side of the hook and touch and turns when you get closer to the eye of the hook. That should do it. Okay, so just wind the uh, peacock quill over. You don't want touch and turns on this fly, you want to leave gaps between each turn. So it looks like a segmented body. Secure that in. That's perfect. And there we go. Okay, just trim that off. Just grab a little piece of the uh, the white antron. Tie that in with the eye. Trim the length. Probably about three or four mil on there. And I'll trim off the excess. Now all you need is a strip of flexi floss. Okay. Just wrap the flexi floss around the thread and pull it up to secure it on the underside and lock it in so there's one strand on the bottom half of either side of the hook. And 
and build up a small head. Okay, take the flaxy floss round the hook onto the top, secure it in, and then and do the same on the other side. Lock down tightly. Pull the flaxy floss up and trim it as close as you can to the thread. A couple of turns under the, the antron or the breathers on the insect just to pop them up a little bit. And then we finish off. Three half inches is absolutely fine on this fly, so we're going to cover the whole thing with UV resin. Okay, just grab the UV resin. This is the uh, this is the stuff I like to use. It's solar res, bone dry, it dries really quickly and dries without any tackiness. The entire fly with the resin. Careful not to get any on the white antron, or it will go stiff as a stiff as a board. Okay, and finish off with a quick blast with the UV torch. And that's it, my favourite clear water buzzer. Um, very natural looking. I know you can tie a million buzzers. Just look in my fly box, they're full of buzzers of all kinds of different colours and tinsels and sparkle and all kinds of stuff but actually that's been one of my most successful flies over the last probably 10 years um say in different sizes to suit the size of the water uh, this is a fly i used on uh, blagden reservoir um around about this time last year there was, there was some team england qualifiers going on down there uh, myself and a friend of mine lee went down and we had a practice the day before the match and uh, we got a few tactics working but this was probably the fly that caught most of me fish during practice and then so I used it on match day and caught every single fish on match day on, on that fly and uh, managed to qualify for, for the national final. Uh, so it's a fly I've got a load of faith in and uh, obviously works very well down blagged and shoe uh, but anywhere where there's there's clear water and uh, you've got buzzer hatches coming off just adjust the size of the buzzer to uh, match the size of the, the flies that are coming off. Um, you can tie it in a couple of different colours, black and olive being, being my favourites. But yeah, it's a great fly, so get it in your fly box, give it a go.